Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Feed the Beast Genesis, a brand new mod pack from Feed the Beast. It is not at the time of recording this currently out yet, but I will update the description as soon as the pack is available for everyone. I have been given access to this pack, uh, early access together with a bunch of other people to play, and honestly, it is so much fun. I streamed this game for almost, uh, game, I streamed this mod pack for almost three hours earlier today. What on earth is that rainbow flower? Okay, I just want the wheat for now, but that's fine. <laughs> cool, I guess. But yes, I streamed the mod pack earlier today. I will leave a link for that stream down below in the description if you are indeed interested in checking that out. Because we got started here on a base and honestly, I want to continue because I am having so much fun with this pack. So as you can see, we're in a building here. Now, I didn't build this. I can't take credit for that because this was already here when I arrived. Basically, the theme of this mod pack is that you have been summoned. Uh, basically, the entire world that you're on, which name is Elyria, I believe. This planet, this realm is called Elyria, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly. And basically, a war broke out, a bunch of bad stuff happened, and, well, nuclear. And that basically rendered the entire place completely unlivable as you can see it is dead everything around here is dead except for certain locations that they managed uh, the, that the remaining people managed to save and leave a force field dome around to preserve for hopefully the future generation to return to which is me i'm known as the architect slash administrator i believe architect or I believe there was another word, administrator. I think those two were the different ones. Um, and you're basically brought back to try and sort things out. So I guess I'm the hero of the story in this case. <laughs> Which I don't feel like one at the moment. I've been struggling, but uh, we, we, we at least have fresh water, right? We, we at least have fresh water. Now, one thing that I really love about this mod pack is the fact that everything is so story-based. Like, when you eventually get access to the pack, you need to download this and just start playing. And this quest book thing, the quest line, it really holds your hand very, very well throughout the entire thing. Like, I haven't, like, straight off the path of the quest so far and we are almost completed uh, with getting started sprouting new life we have been introduced into farming uh things has happened in the base when you actually like events i i guess one event kind of has happened i don't want to show you the entire stream you can go and check out the entire stream if you wish again link down below in the description however i will show some of the stuff when it is relevant for example uh, what we worked on last was getting the sticky resin because outside of this dome right here this place out here It's radioactive. We, we can't access that. We need a radiation suit in order for us to get uh, to get there radi ra Radiation suit. Yeah, we need to build the hazmat suit uh, Basically and for that we need actually need a rubber and for that to get rubber we need sticky resin and to get sticky resin we had to go through a little bit of a farming process again if you want to see that entire thing the stream is in the description but basically this is the plant that we needed to get and uh from this clip you should be able to see that it um let's just say it took a while this was me uh, my reaction when we finally got access to the stuff <gasps> no way we actually got it it just it, it never mind i didn't i didn't read it wrong that is literally it. That is stick read. <laughs> Finally. Oh, and another one. And another one. Okay. And as you can see, it um it took a couple of attempts. But let's just say we've been introduced to farming. And this is great. And oh wow, that's that's a lot of resin. But yes. Uh, wow, okay, I don't really want to show a game right now, but this right here is basically a simulation chamber. Uh simulation matrix, sorry. Um, and we can run basically simulations in it. Uh, if you ask me how it works, don't because I won't be able to accurately respond. <laughs> now I'm about to go outside. However, it is sort of daytime, which uh, nighttime, sorry, which is why I have the bed on me. And I do believe my crafting table is over here so I can get a little bit more food instead of this rotten flesh. Now, one really cool thing is that we have this coal generator right here, which we can just feed charcoal, for example, into, and it'll generate power. And one cool thing is that the, the main story around this is that you also have friends in the in the network, like in the network network, not the internet, but like the, in I don't know how to explain it. It'll make sense when you actually read this, but we basically have people 
and that can help us get this stuff. If we feed power into this thing, then we can basically get certain things like rotten flesh, um, uh, gunpowder, etc. All of these only require power, which is really cool. So you can actually get infinite amount of sand. Granted, you can get infinite amount of um, of power. Uh, it is sleepy time, but I do want to go ahead and claim this real quick. That is beetroot and lily of the valley. Yeah, fine. I guess we'll go ahead and plant those. Not that I haven't done any planting whatsoever today at all. Yikes. But really, my explanation cannot do justice, and I'm really happy that I didn't record the start of this episode, actually, because there's a lot of reading and story behind this, but as soon as you like to get the hang of it, it's it's really cool. Well, not the hang of it, but understand the story behind it. It's really, really cool. Um, this needs more light to grow. Are you kidding me? Lily of the Valley? Seriously? Well, I guess we can grow these and pop this out and do... That that's plenty of light here. What are you talking about? Don't don't be like that. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. This is this is this is fine. This is fine. All right. Beetroot, lily of the. Okay, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> I've dealt with too much farming today. Okay, I'll just add the seeds to this. My my seed collection essentially. Now here's the thing. Mobs are a little bit more, shall we say, not only dangerous but also a little bit more creative if we can put it that way and i'll show you once we reach the top in fact i just want to get a little bit more water because apparently i it this place is very salty in the air or something i don't know but i'm getting extremely thirsty very quickly i could also take that jar with me actually but it's fine we're just heading outside to just get some dye so i can make the hazmat suit so we can continue um i should really drink before leaving though there we go much better and we can sleep but i'll do that by the doorway and you yeah you'll see when we reach the doorway to the outside world what i'm talking about with those mobs it's a bit crazy and uh, there we go it is now daytime grab a bite to eat while we're heading out here because uh, we may very well be needing it so uh, also i'm playing with complementary shapers by the way i really love the look of these so uh, excuse me what oh it's a witch okay that, that's fine that's fine. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I have had this blocked off and for very good reason. Um, let me show you. You see that? Yeah, that ain't me. Okay, a creeper did kind of explode here. But this right here, that like the, these guys right here. Oh, there's a, wait, there's a real station down here? Yeah, these guys, they can break blocks, which uh, I'll show you that clip right now. Well, I'm out. Well, I'm just getting rid of these. I'll show you that clip right now when they actually broke out. It's a bit crazy. I'm sorry, what? No. No. N no. What? No. You actually broke outside. You, you actually broke to the outside world. You actually... Ow. You actually broke out. Oh, dear. But a fishing rod? What? No. That... Let go of me. Okay. Okay, they actually broke out. They actually, ah, okay, be gone. So yeah, that's what happened. Um, and apparent. Oh dear me, there's actually a railway station under here. I did not realize this. Uh, nope, nope. Don't blow that up, please. I don't want to deal with all those blocks. Okay, yeah. Let me just clear this real quick. I didn't even know that this was here. I really don't want you to blow a friend. You're not my friend, but yeah. Okay. Ooh. XP bottle. I'll take it. Uh, that's a skeleton. I don't have a shield. <laughs> okay. And that's another creeper. Hello. Okay. Right. Let me clear these guys out. Okay. I don't know what is happening here, but I thought I only saw like one or two creepers. Now I have thought of three so far. This is the third or fourth one. Um, and of course, there's a skeleton there, which I will go ahead and just attack immediately because I'm a pro. I may very well die here. But we'll see what happens. Ooh, I got a gem. A lunar gem. Don't know how to use those yet. Okay, that is one skeleton down. And that's a second skeleton down. Okay. I believe that we are in the clear. However, these tunnels, I don't know where... Nope, 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 nope. And we have mobs over there as well. Right. I'll just um, place this here. What? 
Uh, yeah, that's radiation. Wait, why is there radiation in here? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why is there radiation down here? Nope, 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 nope. That was weird. It looked like radiation around all the way around me. Oh, well. Um, wait, it does... It does look like radiation. It does look like radiation. Doesn't it? Or am I just completely going insane? It sounds and looks like radiation. Maybe that hole shouldn't have been opened. It sounds like radiation in, in the... In the thing. I mean, look at the particles as well. This can't be good. Especially down here. I'm gonna... I don't know what is causing this, but it is making me want to really block this off because it feel I feel like it is primarily down there. The radiation is coming from... I'm sure this is... Yep, this is definitely radiation. I'm gonna head down here. Um, I don't know what is happening. I don't know what is it. It's even down here as well. Okay, I... Hmm. If it is indeed radiation, I need my radiation suit ASAP. Dandelion and then puppy. There we go. Okay, let's go down there. I I don't know. I actually don't know. Um, I guess we'll find out. It, the particles are down here, which can't be a good sign. Okay, the sound and the particles has stopped. The screen does still look weird. I don't know if that is potentially my shaders. Nope, I tried and enabling and disabling them. Well, let us quickly go ahead and get this um, armor made here. I have been smelting quite a bit of rubber. Don't know if I need this much, but we're going to go ahead and make the hazmat suit. Then make the hazmat leggings and then make the rubber boots. Oh, I need wool for that. Right, I need wool for that, don't I? Uh, well, let's go down up dangerous path. Yeah, I need the, need the boots. I may have to steal a corner, because, uh, oh dear, that, no, that doesn't look good. Uh, <laughs> okay, this is going to trigger probably everyone watching this, but that is staying there for now until I can replenish that. Rubber boots, acquire this, quest complete, that gives me the scuba helmet, the dorsal miter, and the waystone. Okay. I'm picking this up. So let's read this first. In order to leave the confines of the vault, you're going to need suitable protection. And when it says that, by the way, it doesn't mean like out here, like I was. It's out here, like in in the in the in the deadlands, or whatever you want to call it. Um, now that you've acquired stick reed as a source of rubber, you can create a hazmat suit. If you're still looking for some orange style, the Fabi's uh, simulation has some rose bushes. That's the farm area we were in with the house. Uh, rose bushes for that, so you get a bone meal for those dice. Yes, and I have gotten a waystone. So I got the uh, dosimeter. The dosimeter is a possible handheld device that will measure the ambient radiation levels at your current location. If you suspect radiation, you can right click with this device to confirm your suspicions. Remember, never enter radioactive zones without proper protection. Okay, so I get a sign for radiation hazard and a waystone that can probably lead me to my base. Um, time to radiation exposure. 12,000, that seems like a lot. Eight minutes to dissipate. Okay, I'm gonna place you down. Home base. Actually, no, home vault, which is what this is. Home vault. I think that's what I was supposed to do. Let's head outside, maybe where we can see those particles, and let's see what's going to happen when, uh, what the radiation exposure is going to be. Because I hear the sound again. It's not higher. But it does say nine minutes until this, uh, 12, 12 minutes. Wow, what has happened? Like, it gets more and more radioactive out here. I have my suit on, so I should be protected. Protection from fire unless you swim in lava. It's full self equipped. Wow. Uh, if low air cells are provided, you can protect against wasteland radiation. Yeah. This is basically, like, really, really high. I haven't been out here, by the way, yet. This is all dried salt. Um, and apparently it has started leaking into this area. 40 minutes until... Yeah, this place is completely exposed now. Hold on, let, let me just message a guy real quick. Right, while I'm waiting for a response, because it is now like 40, it is getting increasingly bad here. 
I'm going to try and head down. I don't know if the vault down here is actually going to be affected at all. I mean, I still see a lot of... Yeah, the radiation level is like 40. <laughs> um, yeah. This is interesting. Let's see. Uh, so, we got the we got this. So, from this, we extend out. Surface scan indicates there seems to be a rather large deposit of copper metals near your location. After obtaining your hazmat suit, it is suggested you proceed to the coordinates, blah, 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 and investigate the signature. It's likely any exposed copper will be highly corroded by now, so make sure you bring an axe to right-click and clean it off for processing. Hint, copper sets can also be smelted down for even more ingots. That is cool. We need copper. We also need iron. We have detected several sources of iron around the Genesis vault. We suspect these may be remnants of the ancient communication network. By the way, this is supposed to be like the people in the network still communicating with us while we are out here, basically. The digital world they're in. Uh, these towers uh, can be torn down and either and their bars repurposed into raw iron crafting components. Um, so how do how how do how do how do? I guess you know what we'll just go after sleeping um, <laughs> in a very very radioactive world. Before we leave for any of those locations, though, I do need some more water. Not water, food. If any of it has potentially grown. It has. Perfect. All right, so I'm just preparing for the journey and the time for the ex radiation exposure is actually lowering by the minute, literally. And it was at like 40,000, as we can see, like here inside the base. Now it's down to 33,000. So it's just going to take some time. And uh, I was explained, or it was explained to me uh, that apparently, if you, t if you, apparently, Basically, because I found the uh, the railway, I think I went a little bit too far out and I got radiated uh, without the suit on. So I started running back and then with the death there, I apparently dragged the radiation with me towards this area. And now this area is in case as well. But again, it will uh, disappear eventually. So for now, I just got I just got to keep my um, <laughs> my suit on. So that's fine. Let's add all of this stuff to here. I don't need that with me. I will be needing extra water though, but I have food. Uh, radioactive hazard. I think I'm just going to place that right at the top of the door. Um, that's fine. But yeah, as you can see, it says now 35. So it's going to take a while, but that's fine. Just perfect that we managed to make the hazard suit just before that happened though. Now all I have to worry about is the way that I am slowly uh, slowly dying of dehydration. I'm also going to do something that I haven't done yet, and I hope that this works, but I'm basically going to relocate the faucet out here to the center area of the base, or actually right in here should do the trick. Just place you there, and boom, that should be now connected. If I just take a drink of water, and boom, yep, perfect. All right, let's head out. I will bring the bed with me though, because uh, nighttime is not gonna be fun. And I'm gonna put this, uh, I can't seem to place it. Can I place it on you? Yes, okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take you, I'm gonna take this, place you like here, and then boom, do that. <laughs> Hopefully I get the message next time. So we have some iron over there, um, but I don't know where the copper deposit was again. Minus 233, minus 120. Uh, so it's actually in the opposite direction of this, but let's go to the iron first. Let's take a look at this first of all See what we got, but yeah, this is the this is the wastelands basically uh, Not much going on out here. Oh Oh, that's nice. I mean, yeah, I, I, I guess that was supposed to happen eventually <laughs> Okay, but here we are iron bars stone bricks, okay so we got quite a few of these and supposedly we should be able to break these down into more uh, usable iron resources in here. In order to load up the simulation, you'll need to energize. Yeah, that's for the fiery realm. So I don't know how much of this I'm going to be picking up. I need to scale this as well somehow. Also, I don't have an iron pickaxe, so this is extremely slow. Don't know if I get an upgrade, maybe. We got iron mechanical component. 64 iron ingots, okay. That's a, that, I like that reward. <laughs> uh, we'll open new quest lines in applied logistics. Ooh, where do we have that? Where do we have that? Applied logistics. Okay, that's cool. So we can start going into, into that. Okay, sick. Well, um, we're still gonna continue on the dangerous path. I guess I got all the iron that I need for now. 
Uh, let's check out that copper area. I don't really want to take that down with a stone pickaxe, so I'll be back for that later. So yeah, the radio radiation is still here, obviously, because this is the uh, wastelands. And I assume it is still in here. Yep, it's still here. But as you can see, it is it is being lowered. Interesting that it has changed the, the way it uh, shows it. Hmm, interesting. And I now have that again. And now this... That's so weird. It's shifts, shifts. Ah, because this is this is probably livable, and this is too high. Okay, I get it now. So when it's yellow, it's like, hey, you're gonna take damage from this. When it's not yellow, maybe it's not that serious. I don't know. Anyway, this is close to 120. Now I need to go in this direction. Now one thing that I'm very excited about is the fact that we have crude oil right here and we have quite a bit of it around us, which means I'll hopefully be able to do stuff with uh, with oil. I really want to generate power using oil. That I think would be really, really cool. Oh yeah, we have some sort of city over here as well, which is very interesting. Don't know if I'm quite ready to enter that area yet. Actually, I just realized my armor is currently counting as diamond armor. This hazmat stuff, that's not bad actually. Maybe I can take this place on. Um, okay, let's uh, see, 120. So we needed to go to minus 233. I don't know what this place is. Maybe it was a military base of some sort? Because there was a bunch of conflict before the the nuclear exchange, as I believe it was called. Okay, that's just dirt. And I believe that this is it. Yeah, that is the large... What is it? What's this? I don't know. Why am I trying to hit it? <laughs> it's probably not good for me. Blocks of quartz, we have... Ooh, we have chests in there. We have chests. Find copper signature. Yep. Yep, yep. So, I should... Oh, yeah, I was supposed to... Right. Clean this off before grabbing it. And get get the copper. Nice, and I get an extra water bottle. Beautiful. I, I do need that. Actually, I do need that. Quite badly. Okay, it is turning night time, though. And I don't know what this place has to offer when it is uh, going dark. So, let's just add that there and check out the barrel. Nothing. Chest. Feather. Stick. Reverse card. Sometimes you're on... Sometimes you are your own enemy. 50% chance to damage a mob that has hurt you with its own damage. Okay. That's kind of cool. Nice. Okay. Well, I hope I can sleep out here in my hazmat suit because uh, it's night time. <laughs> right. I'm going to leave the sign door here. Uh, seems safe. So I'm just going to get a bunch of these. I guess as many as my ass will allow me to take. And then I will head back with these resources and we'll take a look at opening the next, um, what's it called? The next, next thing. Simulation. That's the word. And my pickaxe just broke and I can't make another one. Uh, oops. Well, we did get quite a bit of it. We can smell it down for ingots. That's pretty good. I think I'm happy with that. Um, what's in here? Oh, monsters. Okay. Well, does it seem like we have chests as such? I'm sure the story will get us to go in there eventually. Also, it'll be easier when I actually have a pickaxe so I can mine my way in. I really should be more prepared with the pickaxe, but oh well. That's uh, that's what I get for not being prepared. Actually, I'm gonna try and climb our mountain here just to see how far up I can get. In theory, this place should be clear from radiation in two minutes, according to this thing. Hopefully, anyway. Because um, this is within uh, the force field that is holding out the, all the bad guys and the exposure. Or at least the exposure, not so much the bad guys. I've been dealing with plenty of them. Um, but yeah, two minutes or so, and this place should be clear. Okay, five minutes then. The radiation is a little bit higher. That makes sense, because that is this is where I indeed died. And then I went down here. So I guess the base is going to take a little bit longer to <laughs> dissipate. That's fine. And there we go. It reduced down to six minutes. All right. It's being taken care of. It's being cleaned out by uh, this place. It's fine. Good thing we got this right in time, right? Well, we have a bunch of stuff now. Um, a bunch of cool stuff indeed. Do I equip this? Um, yeah, I, I guess I will. I guess I will. So in the quest, we have the Fiery Realm. 
Before the fall of Elyra, we had reached beyond our own reality to create a transdimensional network of hundreds of other worlds. Most of that knowledge is lost, and the transportation network has, de has decayed beyond recoverability, but there are a few connections that remain and can be re-established via the simulation chamber. The first of these is World I2PX, which some had taken to calling the Nether. We will load up a simulation first to prepare you for the environment. Once you've prepared, you can create the key node to activate the dimensional portal. We believe this dimension may have essential resources available to aid in the restoration of Elyra. I mean, to be fair, currently I am unable to help myself. Uh, <laughs> to help myself and my own... Uh, base, but that is fine. I'm I'm happy that you that you entrust with to me this um this mission. Okay, uh, how do how do I make a tripwire hook? Um, planks, stick, and oh, I got a stick. Nice. Let's go get some wood. Let's go and get some more food, and then we we can proceed. I think I need to go this way. Yes. And by the way, these beehives, you are provided with a ton of them. And well, they are basically a very easy source for wood right there, uh, that, which is great. I absolutely love that addition. So in the simulation chamber again, I'm going to grab a bunch of wheat to make a little bit more bread. Um, apparently my car... Wait, why are my carrot seeds gone? I had so many carrot seeds. Why are they gone? Do I have more in here? Please tell me I have more. Uh, I do not, and I have I haven't eaten my last one. So can I plant these here? Yes, I can. Okay, I'm gonna have to do that then because uh, and I just ran over them. Yeah, don't run on your crops in this mod pack, by the way. It is really bad news if you do. <laughs> I have discovered. I will also need some rose red. So I will grab a couple of these. We can both meal the rest. That's fine. Yeah, three minutes. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Three minutes. In the meantime, we can make this, and then we can make the fire extinguisher. Extinguish nearby fire. Cool. It also has a durability. Noted. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so there we go. Sign fire hazard. And then we get to this. The simulated inferno. In order to lead up the simulation, you'll... In order to load up the simulation, you'll need to energize the capacitors and then proceed to the simulation chamber. Important! Make sure there are currently no simulations loaded in the area is clear or the simulation will fail. Completing this will open up additional quests in selective breeding. I don't know how to unload a simulation. Um, 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 oh, wait, okay, wait, add this, press the button, there we go, okay, so I think that everything in here is saved on this, if I want to load it, okay, I did that, now I need to power the simulation, and then I'll get this partial story cell for the new simulation. Okay, so I basically need now to generate 250,000 RF. So for that, I'm just going to have to grab a bunch of charcoal, change this to 200, what's it called again? I forgot. Simulated Inferno. So simulated, power the simulation. I believe this is the one. Yep, 250. So yeah. That's going to take a while. I mean, this thing does work pretty fast and it does speed up constantly. But I think that that is all we have time for for this episode. Tune in for episode two, where we're actually going to the simulated Inferno. And we're going to be playing with fire, brewing stand, living magma, get potion of fire resistance, and then activating the portal and this stuff. Again, this mod pack, I absolutely love it. Um, and hopefully by the next episode, this radiation will be done as well, so I don't have to have this effect when I am down here. I'm not going to take it off now, because then I will die, and then it most likely will just repeat the process, so uh, I hope you understand. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, enable those notifications, consider supporting me on Patreon, it greatly helps me out a ton, and with that, whoa, everything is bright now. I think it's because, yep, it's, it's basically done. Nice. <laughs>
<laughs> just in time. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you next time. Tune in for episode 2. It's gonna be fun. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and until next time, goodbye.